Yo, what's going on guys? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a smoke effect just like this inside of After Effects. Now, before we get into the tutorial, I'm going to show you a short time lapse of the edit I created before I added the smoke. So make sure to skip to the timestamp if you don't wish to see how I made the edit. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so to start off, uh, first you're going to figure out where you want to add your smoke. Um, so as you've seen already, I added the smoke between uh, these clips right here. So all you're going to do is obviously find out where you want to do it and then you're going to add a solid. So we just right click here, new, solid, make sure it's a black solid and it fills the whole resolution. So after you do that, you're just going to size up the layer to cover this whole next layer this whole next scene right here and then i'm just gonna have it cover one two three maybe four frames back here so that it's covering this scene a little bit and this next scene as well and then what you're going to do after that is you're going to add an effect called fractal noise and for me i have two but it's going to be one that looks like this default with after effects and then what you're going to do is you're going to change the complexity to something like two because you want the softness of the smoke to be soft, obviously. And then you're going to scale in this. And basically you're just gonna scale it in until it looks something like this. All right, so the effect that you're going to add here is gonna be called Unmult. Now, if you don't have this effect, it comes with the Maxon plugins. Essentially what it does is keys out the color black but you can also add another effect called linear color key and mess with the tolerance and the softness to get something similar to this but this effect works better in my opinion i like to always add a fill and make it something that's like really stands out in the scene so that i can see the smoke better when i'm working with it and then change it to the actual color that i want later all right so these are the settings that you're going to want to learn when messing with this effect you're going to want to learn contrast brightness and evolution Okay, so first off, the contrast changes the intensity of the smoke or fog. Then you have the brightness, which changes the opacity. And then evolution, which basically moves the animation of the fractal noise. So in unison, you can use these together to create a smoke effect. So now I'm just going to basically change all of these settings and then I'll show you the end result. All right, so after you've messed around a little bit with the animation of the evolution and you send with the brightness, you'll see that you'll get something like this. So basically all I did was just have the evolution move up more and more, which each motion of the scene, as you can see, just like this. And then all you can do after that is actually just change the color. So I could change the color to something that kind of replicates the color of the scene if I wanted to do that, like this. And then, yeah, that's basically it. It's a pretty easy effect to learn. You can also add other things, like if I wanted to animate the contrast of the scene to move up a little bit as it gets to this point, or actually move down maybe for more of a foggy effect. I could do that. Basically do whatever you want with, this, with the type of fog and use it in whichever way that you want. One last thing that I forgot to mention about the fog is that actually you can mess with the offset. So you can actually make the fog kind of move in the direction that you want. 
So if I want the fog to move in this direction, just do that. Since you can't separate the dimensions, you're gonna have to edit it in the speed graph. And then all you're gonna wanna do is just something like this. For my, for my case, you're gonna wanna do something like this. All right guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, please leave a like and make sure to comment if there's any other tutorials that you would like to see from me. Um, also, in the description, I'm going to list the project file for this edit with all the files included. So if you felt like you got a little bit lost or you just wanna have more hands-on action with this project file, feel free to download it below. And that's everything. Peace out guys. Bye.